August 28, 2011, Tropical Storm Irene caused immense damage in Granville, Vermont. The town, which is home to fewer than 300 residents, lost accessibility to Buffalo Farm Road because of the storm damage. The road was classified as a Class II town highway and served as a connecting route between Granville and Rochester, Vermont. Through the duration of the storm event, the roadway experienced a series of three landslides, as well as substantial loss of roadway material, causing it to become impassable. While there are alternate routes to divert residents around the damaged area, this is the shortest and best conditioned route for high volume traffic flow. We were contacted by John Lenz from Geodesign and they had already done a site survey and they gave us boring log data for the first slide. For this project we decided to use Slope W which is a program on GeoStudio to model the stability of slides 1 and 3. Ryan Davenport diligently extracted cross sections from the Geodesign site survey and we then took those cross sections and put them into slope W. Appropriate soil characteristics were determined based on bore log data. These characteristics were then used in the analysis to best approximate the true conditions. Once the geometry were inserted into slope W, we decided to model a before storm, during storm, and after storm. The before storm conditions best represented what it was like before I read. The factor safety on this was supposed to be above 1.0, however not close to one because it was not failing at the time. But during the storm condition, we represented with almost full saturation of the slope with a factor of safety of just below 1.0. The after storm condition was then modeled with, this, with the water table moving down below what it was during the storm with a factor of safety relatively modest. The first slide area topography was extremely vigorous so it made it very difficult to find uh, a, a single solution for design. We tried many things such as road relocation, retaining walls, etc. and basically we were left with soil nails. The nails will be installed at various steps spaced 10 feet along the face of the slope. They will stabilize the slope structure and prevent any future landslides. Two design options were considered for slide three, one being a road relocation around the slide, another being a retaining wall at the top of the slide. The road relocation was a de designed in accordance to AASHTO, VTRANS, and FHWA standards. Our design speed for the road was 35 miles an hour, and we had to design a horizontal curve to smoothly transition around the slide area. A compound horizontal curve was designed to smoothly transition traffic around slide 3 area. A 15 foot wired mesh retaining wall spanning 152 feet would replace the road. A curtain drain would be placed at the bottom of the wall to drop the water table. To summarize, Tropical Storm Irene brought immense damage to this section of roadway in Granville, Vermont. We have developed what we believe to be effective but somewhat costly designs for landslide remediation. Furthermore, we suggest that further investigation of the site be conducted before a final design option is chosen.